Now on night beat, the Marin County man known as the American Taliban about to walk free after nearly two decades in prison. Good evening. I'm Veronica De La Cruz. And I'm Ken Bassita. John Walker Lind. He's set to be released on probation in a matter of hours after serving 17 years of a 20-year sentence. And right now, he's being held at a federal prison in Terre Haute, Indiana, some 2,200 miles away from his hometown in San Anselmo. That's where Night Beats Joe Vasquez is live tonight. Joe? Yeah, Ken, well, his dad still lives here in Marin, but his mom is on the East Coast. So at this point, it's not clear where he will go. But what is pretty clear is tomorrow, around this time, he should be a free man. I haven't eaten in about more than a week. Before he was known as the American Taliban, John Walker Lind lived here in San Anselmo, went to Tamascal High School in Larkspur, but dropped out and got his GED. He became a Muslim and attended the Islamic Center in Mill Valley. His parents say he became very religious and eventually left for the Middle East to learn more about Islam. His father, Frank, did not want to talk to reporters today, but back in 2007, he insisted his son was not a traitor. We know he's not anti-American. We know he doesn't have any sympathy for terrorism. But his family has never quite been able to explain why John Walker Lind was trained in one of Osama bin Laden's training camps and ended up on a battlefield in Afghanistan at the age of 20 fighting for the Taliban against the Americans. So the Arab uh, section of the Ansar is funded by Osama bin Laden. When CNN interviewed him in 2001 immediately following a prison uprising that left him wounded, Lind spoke with an unusual accent. The people there in general have a great love for the Taliban. Yeah. So I started to read some of the literature of the scholars and the, the history of the movement. And this, I, my heart became attached to them. I wanted to help them. What was the network? What were the tentacles that reached back into our neighborhood here in Marin? Former FBI agent Jeff Harp worked counterterrorism at FBI headquarters at the time. He did not work directly on Lind's case, but he says there is plenty of evidence Lind was involved in terrorism. You can't just participate in a bank robbery and then say, hey, I was just there to make a deposit. There was more to this. You know, federal officials have not quite revealed why he's getting out three years early, but, you know, federal prison sentences are generally served about 85 percent of the total. This is more than that. It's about that. And uh, Ken, as for where he's going next, while he was behind bars, he actually became an Irish citizen. His grandmother's Irish. He could be going there, but not anytime soon, because one of the provisions of his release is that he has to check in before traveling abroad. Interesting story. Joe, thank you for that. Other conditions of his release, Lind is not allowed to speak any other language other than English online or view any material that has extremist or terroristic views. 